Welcome back to Gloved Up Garage. I've got an update and I'm kind of torn on it. It's taken me several times to shoot this. If you can tell them from my voice, I'm a little hoarse. I'm uh, getting over COVID. Got that last week and uh, been down pretty much all week long uh, dealing with the, the effects from that. So um, just now starting to feel a little better and got a chance to get out here in the garage because I had to get some stuff out of the Marauder. Uh, I know in the last update video, I said that we were going to need a transmission and I was going to have it fixed. Um, and in a previous update, I had talked about selling the car. And I'm kind of sad to report that I have put it up for sale. I've got a couple of people coming out to look at the car today. Um, and there's a good chance that by the time this video is posted, the car is sold and gone. This one has taken me several times to do this. Um, it's kind of a bittersweet day. Uh, a lot of people are going to ask, you know, why do you want to sell this car? These things are really awesome. Why would you want to get rid of it? They're hard to find, especially the good deal that I got on this car. Um, but in the end, it boils down to a lot of economics, uh, return on investment, not necessarily from the money side, but just the wrench time side. Um, and a lot of it boils down to I've got a ton of projects and right now it doesn't make sense to have another project that's going to take up quite a bit of funds and wrench time and everything else away from something else. Um, you know, when I get done putting a transmission in this car, there's always the possibility that something else could break. And now, I mean, that's to be said with any vehicle, um, you know, new or old, but it's a lot less likely to happen with a newer vehicle. And right now, kind of going back to the previous update video where we're looking for um, a newer expedition as a tow vehicle and uh, to haul the family around with, the extra funds going towards that would reduce that payment, which is going to free up more funds for project cars, for some of the other stuff that I've got planned on the channel and for some of the other vehicles that I want to work on in the future. So it's really a matter of um, space. You know, I've only got three bays in here. Uh, it's a matter of fun, uh, funds. Uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to have to spend 2,500 bucks or more for our transmission rebuild and then have something else go bad. And then it comes down to, um, you know, I've done everything that I can do to get the car back on the road and it's still continuing to fight me. And it's a level of frustration that builds when you're working on these cars. Uh, you know, going from a car that, you know, sat for two or three years and didn't run or drive, we got it running. We fixed a lot of the little stuff that's wrong with it. And then have something major like the transmission go bad. It's a it's a huge mental frustration. You know, you, you spent all that time, that money, and that effort into repairing the vehicle and then boom something else happens completely out of your control and now uh you know it's basically going to be inoperable at some point i just realized that there was another camera setting <laughs> so we've still got a lot to do in the garage uh this may be the end of this project for now but i'm not saying this will be the last marauder that i ever own um, I don't even think we're close to that. I'm sure I'll dig two or three more of these things out before I'm done. But for now, that's all we've got on this Marauder. And it's gone. It went to the new owner. He's extremely thrilled with it. And he was able to get home with it safely, which is the most important thing. I really wasn't sure about that trans. And he said it did give him a little bit of trouble once he got to a slower speed. Um, he had to slow down to get through some traffic and, uh, he had some issues with it, not really wanting to downshift and upshift correctly. So he knew about the transmission issues. Um, you know, he kind of understands what's going on with it and, uh, you know, it is what it is. So here we are. I'm going to get the Lincoln off to the frame shop this week. Hopefully, uh, we're going to get this thing loaded up and then from there we'll have two empty bays for a little bit. We're gonna get back to work on the Red Marauder. We got parts that are due to arrive for it any day and definitely get some more stuff going with it so that we can get this thing back on the road. But 
I don't really have much of an update other than that. I definitely appreciate everybody watching these videos. I look at all the comments. I try to comment back. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Remember to stay gloved up.